Are you guys in a relationship or single? In a relationship. Who approached first? Always. Yeah. Him. Always you. Yeah. What's going on? Why men always take this? How did you find your partner? In a club here. Wow. <laughs> Why you are single? Self growth. Self growth. Wow. We're single. To mingle. <laughs> Boyfriend, how did you find him? Instagram. Really? Yeah. You DM'd him? He DM'd me. He DM'd you? Yeah. So what he said? He just asked me out on a date. Every Expensive day. wedding ring is important. Oh my god, I'm not gonna get married without it. Three things you love about her. She's always there for me. I come home from work, she cooks for me, she does a bath. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I, I confused. You live together. You are looking into a man to be potentially your boyfriend. Too complicated answer for a short interview. <laughs> are you interested in an open relationship? You are interested in having someone in the future? Yes. Not a fuckboy or something like that. Do you have any red flag? in a relationship. He puts it on me. What do you mean? Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? Uh, my, my name is Amy. I'm 17 and I'm from Malta. You? Jake, 18, from Malta. Hi, my name is Alisa. I'm 20 and I'm from Belarus. My name is Leila. I'm 18 and I'm from Austria. My name is Adam. I'm also 18 and I'm from Vienna, Austria. My name is Philip and I'm also from Vienna and I'm 20. My name is Daryl Mifsud. I am from the island of Malta and I am 23 years old. What do you do for a living? A uh, student. I'm Rebecca. <laughs> 16 and I'm from Malta. I'm Carla, I'm 15 and I'm from Malta. I'm not asking from you. As a deal. <laughs> I'm Nina, I'm 16, I'm from Malta. Gabriela, I'm 23 and from Romania, but I live in Malta now. I'm Alex and I'm from Switzerland. How old are you? 23. Karen, 25, nursing student. I'm a Peter, 25, and I'm an English teacher student. My name is Clara, I'm 21 and I'm a student. Neve, 20, from Ireland. Jude, 20, from Ireland as well. And what do you want to do in the future? Have my own business. Good answer. What kind of business? I'm um, probably marketing and uh, I want to open, I don't know, my own business. As well. Okay, that makes sense. How about you? I'm studying right now and I want to be a nurse. What do you do for a living? Here I work now in retail, but I'm going to study next year. I'm just a customer advisor. A customer advisor, what do you do? Just changing bookings, mm -hmm. do things like this. How about you? Me, I'm a game presenter. I'm in college. Still in college? Yes. Uh, what do you want to do in the future? Um, I want to do events, event management. So you are studying in event, event management? Yes. So, so what, what course is it? Well, here I'm doing tourism because I'm on Erasmus. In Ireland I'm doing event management, so it's basically just learning how to run events like festivals, weddings and conferences. Are you? Um, I'm doing. I'm in college as well, but I'm not sure what I want to do. What um, do you will study? Sociology. Uh, you will be homeless. Yes, <laughs> that's exactly. It. <laughs> but you don't have any plan what you want to do? Not yet. I'm not sure. Are you guys in a relationship or single? In a relationship. You are together. Yes. Yeah. Well, nice. How long? Yeah, and a half. How did you meet each other? In a friend group. But who approached first, you yeah, or him? Jake. Always. always. Him. Always you. Yeah. Wow, bro. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. Why men always take these things? <laughs> love who I'm with. Yeah. Love, yes. And what did you find in her? Her eyes I like the most first. And then I got to know her. And then this was history. I'm in a relationship. How long? Uh, almost two years, I think. How did you find your partner? In a club here. Wow. <laughs> Some interesting things going on. Yeah. How did yeah. you find him? Like in a club, he was dancing. Then you joined him or how? It was my birthday. Mm -hmm. Actually, we were in VIP and he was just dancing like in the club. Actually, it's a very cute story. And then we kind of like looked at each other but then he left the club and then we met again at the beach after everybody like finished clubbing and then we started dating like two weeks after I think why you decided to date with him because he seemed like a very sweet guy and I decided to give it a try no I'm not you no I was never in a relationship why not because the right person isn't there who is the right person for you <laughs> your criteria I was not in love with any boy yet uh, single but why you are single <laughs> I'm always moving, you know, I've been living abroad since I was 17. So it's like you have to be settled down at some point. You always move around, you know. Does it mean that you are not flirting or you are not hooking up with anyone? No, you know, I like to have fun still. But what kind of fun you mean? <laughs> We're getting very specific. Be specific. <laughs> No, you know, I like to have fun. Like if there's people that I that I'm comfortable with, you know, and we have a good time, we have like sexual relationships. Single. Why? Because. <laughs> 
because I'm not interested in those things. Fair enough. You? Single. Why you are single? Self-growth. Self-growth. Wow. Good answer. Actually, I appreciate it. Thank you. But what are you doing with your self-growth? I am um, improving myself and allowing myself to develop well. Like. What are you developing right now? My brain. You, you are reading books or something? Yes, or? I am. Like what? self-help books. Okay, self-help books. What is the latest book you read? Atomic Habits. Atomic Habits. That's good. So, what did you learn from that book? That little things are important. Hey, friends. Friends? You, you agree? Yes. There is something going on. So, how long you are friends? I think 2014. For then I think eight years. <laughs> eight, nine years. No, I'm single. You are single, yeah? Yeah. Are you actively looking for someone? No. But why you are single? I don't know. It's too early. I just want to enjoy life. And I mean, I have to focus for myself and it's easier. So, I, I don't have enough time to take care for the other person. Mm -hmm. So, the other person deserves so much attention, cannot give right now. So, that's it, basically. Oh, that's fair enough. A good answer. Eh? How about you? You are single also? Yes, I'm single and by choice. <laughs> by choice? Yeah, it's not the moment right now. I am also trying to focus on myself. Just moved here some months ago and just getting used to everything and let's letting me come at the right moment, let's say. We're single. It's a mingle. <laughs> come here. Do you want to get her? No. How, how do you know each other? It's a love story. <laughs> it's spontaneous. Here, you here. We're good friends. Yeah. How did you meet here? It's a love story. <laughs> Make it short. We just Let me go and judge you. <laughs> we just went to this social event and then we just met there, you know. She like, approached you? Ah, and we cannot just bump into each other. Yeah. But why you are single? I want to be single. There is no reason why. Why you want to be single? Just enjoying my life without worry, having fun, travel. <laughs> means like uh, you gave time to yourself to yeah, enjoy. Exactly. And what is the right time for you? There is no right time, only right person. Oh, how is the right person for you? It's hard. <laughs> why? I don't know. <laughs> how about you? I'm enjoying my single life you know but of course I would like to have my significant other but it's hard to find it you know like this is the crazy times I would like to find someone and I would like to spend my life with the other one like forever <laughs> but it's hard to find you know because nowadays you know everybody's like okay let's have fun it's fun it's nice but you know I'm very old school and I would like to just settle down and I'm not gonna waste my time just dating date to marry Wow yeah. big statement yeah. Filipina <laughs> no I'm not Filipina. we are not Filipina Vietnamese Wow such an exotic country here <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> do you have a boyfriend? I do. How long? Two years. How did you meet him? Uh, online. <laughs> How? In which application? <laughs> Hinge. Hinge? Yeah. Okay, so you are from the UK then? I'm from Ireland. Ah, from Ireland. Well, my parents are Polish, but I grew up in Ireland. Who texted first? He did. What he said? Um, I had like a prompt being like, it was like, what can we do together? And I was like, cry. And he was like, let's cry together. And I didn't answer him. So he texted me on Instagram being like, I was about to cry that you haven't answered me or something like that. Not in special. <laughs> but if Koi is approaching you with that way, like let's cry, do you feel that he's serious enough or he is the guy you want to settle your life and to make a relationship in the future? Well, it was kind of like a jokey thing that I put up on Hinge, I guess, so it wasn't really serious. We were just joking around and we started talking, so it wasn't serious, I don't think. You, you love him? I do. How about he? He say the same thing? He does, yeah. <laughs> how, how do you know he loves you? Ah, uh, he shows it and he says it all the time and he takes me places. I'm saying Go. You? I have a boyfriend. You have a boyfriend. How did you find him? Instagram. Really? Yeah. You DM'd him? He DM'd me. He DM'd you? Yeah. So what he said? He... <laughs> He just asked me out on a date and I said no for a while and then one night I wasn't doing anything so I said yes. It was easy I would say. Well, it took like two months. For two years. months for saying yes? Yeah. Okay, and how long you are in a relationship right now? Two and a half years. Two and a half years? Yeah. Such a long year I would say, yeah. You started when you were 17 I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, and the guy, how old is he? No, I was like 18 and he was like 17. But what you were specifically looking into a relationship? A long-term partner, someone you can start a family with as well. So I always say long-term, nothing short. She's a Supporting you? Yes, yes, a lot. A in lot. what sense? With my career, with my sports and football. She's mm -hmm. always there for me, so that's the support she gives. How he is good into a relationship? He's very loving and caring. Mm -hmm. He's always very supportive as well in everything. Can you give three things you love about him? How caring he is. He's very patient and I don't know. He's very loyal. <laughs> Third one. Well, how about you? Three things you love about her. She's always there for me, so very kind. It's very hard to pick just three. Like she cares in a sense that like she cook. I come home from work, she cooks. For me, she does a bath, so I just come, I get ready. Wait, 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 wait. I, I confused. You live together? No, but I spend a lot of time at her house. Okay. So no one would be home, and she cooks for me. I get home from work, mm -hmm. so you don't see a lot of people who do that. Wow. Yeah, I appreciate lucky. you. You are rare, but uh, you live with your parents. 
Are they okay for him to come after work? They love him like their own. Wow, lucky boy, I would say. Yeah. But you are also staying over him, or? Yes, I, I go to his house. As well. mm -hmm. And your parents are also okay. Yes, yes. Okay. And you said how old are you? 18. 18. So the younger age, and they are also committed in the early yes. age, and their parents are also okay with that. You are interested in having someone in the future? Yes. They give us the profile. Who can be your potential boyfriend? Tell me, tell me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Stupid silly no, guy. Not a fuck boy or something like. Okay, you are not interested in one night stand. No. How about you? So I am currently not in a relationship, and but you are thinking. I'm searching. Yeah. You are searching. How do you search? It? I go places. Which places you go for finding your girlfriend? I also try from getting. How how can I say that? Get to know friends of friends. How about you? You are searching actively. Not as actively as. Uh, as they. As yes. Okay. <laughs> but for me it would be fine or better if I find a girlfriend who is living in my hometown. I mean, I could move to vacation cities, but now I'm living in Vienna and it would be better if I find uh, someone there because I'm not into long distance relationship. Yes, yes. Right now you are in a vacation, yes. And let's say you find a girl here and you fall in love like on the first sight. How will it be? I think it would be hard because it is better if you see your girlfriend constantly and not via video chat or FaceTime because it could be disturbing the relationship. Um, just to respect each other and uh, each other's goals and, and help each other. Do you have non-negotiable things in your relationship? Well, no, I don't know. We kind of want the same things in life. We never really had anything where we wanted different things. So there hasn't really been arguments about that. So not that I know of. Right now you are traveling alone? Uh, yeah, I'm actually meeting him on Monday. On Monday he's coming here? No, uh, I was studying in Italy the last year and he was in Ireland. So we've been traveling now and I'm going to Bari in Italy and he's going there from Prague. I don't know man, I, I'm very attracted to like uh, to intelligence, to like you know holding like the same values in mind like me, like we have the same outlook in life. Yeah, laid back. How about her personality and also appearance, like wearing, the way of wearing, is it important for you? Mm, not so much. People do what they want to do, like it's a bit shallow, I like to be judging just based on how people dress, you know, like that's the dress man, you know. If she wears provocatively and would you be comfortable with that? That's fine man, you know, like if she feels beautiful the way that she wants to dress, halas, like she's wearing what she wants to wear. I don't know, just someone to have fun with. And he is giving you fun? Eh? Absolutely, yeah. In what sense? He's a DJ. <laughs> oh, wow. So he's making music and you are dancing for him? Mm, kind of, yeah. <laughs> what about you? I think just somebody respectful, somebody that's just nice. I think I'm enjoying being single at the moment, for sure, especially now that I'm living away. I think it's nice to have like freedom over here. I'm not looking for a potential partner, yes, but sometime in the future, definitely. You've never been into a relationship before? Uh, yeah, I've been in one relationship for a year. Why you ended up? Because I was going over here. Partly. Oh, you ended um, up your relationship just for coming to Mata? I think partly, yeah. And I think I would have struggled uh, just like a long-term distance. That was the main reason. What do you think? Is it fair for the guy like you are ditching him just for following your passion or following your summer journey to come to Mata, just ending up your long-term relationship? No, he'll get over it. So, but in the future, if he comes to Mata to see you, would you be okay with that? I'm I'm not sure. When you want to start looking for someone or starting a relationship, do you have any specific time frame in your plan? Maybe once I become an adult and I'll be more mature, you know, right? You are not more mature then? I am. Maybe more, but more mature and more stable. So, in the future, let's say you are committed to a relationship, what specific personality he has to have? Funny, sarcastic, loyal, like respectful and, and like good with kids and elderly, you know, just a, a genuine person, you know? Someone helpful that can listen to me someone nice someone respectful who doesn't for example sometimes you see people who are really disrespectful to all their people someone that is not like that being a good person good answers i believe you will make this generation very fruitful <laughs> Thank you. and your future plan also but in the future mm -hmm. let's say that uh, your partner is making more money than you mm -hmm. would you be comfortable with that of course why not I, we work for each other at the end of the day so to build a future together i think and what's mine is mine but i would give everything to her you know so it makes no difference for me. But in your opinion, if he makes less than you, would you accept it or no? Yes, I would accept it. We help each other. Okay. But who is the boss in a relationship? I don't know. That's not. <laughs> I think both of us. It depends on which situation. Who is taking a lead always or most of the time? That's not. <laughs> me, Jake. <laughs>
It's both of us. I don't take it. But no. she, she no. Hate when it comes to decisions, it's always Jake. What, what are we gonna do? Where are we going? What I'm always me. And if I don't choose one of them, she gets mad. Eh? I think um, we do a lot for each other. So there's not one boss. In some occasions, I would prefer if she does it or she takes charge. And sometimes it's me. So we, we try to split the load. If you go out for a dinner, who is paying the bills? I try to pay as much as I can because at the moment I earn more than her. So I don't I don't want to strain her or turn her awkward position. So if I can pay, I will always pay. No worries. She, she always she, sometimes she pays as well, but I always try and pay. For a short period of time, I think, but I would be trying to work harder and surpass her. Do you have any red flags in a relationship? I don't. When he puts it on me. What do you mean? I ask him to make a decision mm -hmm. and he tells me, no, you take the decision. But I am asking him for a reason, so he takes it, not I do. Uh, that is your red flag? Red flag, that's... Yes. So she wants you to take a lead as a man. Mm -hmm. That's why use this opportunity. Otherwise, you will lose your chance. Like she will always take a lead then I don't know no, no, you no. would be okay with that I always take the lead but sometimes I, I would like for her to plan something but she doesn't want to and then sometimes uh, she gets yeah. mad no as uh, you know that he gives you chance also because this is a respect yes but I don't take the decisions I rather he does he blends it and I just go <laughs> basically feeling like you ask for too much even if it's something the biggest red flag so Are you comfortable with the open relationship no because um, yeah, I'm more of a monogamous person. I understand them, I respect them for people that want to do, it's okay. But uh, he is also working or studying? He's working and we're actually long distance now. Where he lives? In Romania. How you are managing with the long distance relationship? It's going good. We're meeting like every month at least. Either I'm going to him or we're going traveling somewhere. So it's good for me. And plus I'm busy always with work, he's busy with work, so it's okay for us. It was hard, but him and I both love traveling together a lot at least once a month in different countries so it wasn't really bad it was just a few months so i don't know i would try it but you have never been in a relationship before yes but if you are finding someone who should be like will be older than you or younger than you i think he could be one year younger than me and yes older is also okay you prefer older guys yes in a relationship what should a guy provide for you he should be caring and he should be caring and what i don't know you think about it yeah you are thinking in the future to be like in a serious relationship and also committed relationship or no? I am in a committed relationship right now and I hope it's gonna last for a long time. Yeah. I hope so. Thank you. But is there any doubt? For me, no. For you sure. believe in him? I do. But uh, let's say in the future he is deciding to maybe get married soon. Are you ready for that? With him, yes. Him, yes. But what he has to give you for getting you into a marriage? Everything Expensive wedding ring is important? Not necessarily. I mean, it's a good thing. I would love that, but it's not like a necessity. It's not something that, oh my God, I'm not going to get married without it. I mean, he has to give me everything that he's giving me now. I do. We have a lot of plans for the future. Okay. And you think that he is a high value man? Same values that I do and he wants the same things in life, so. If he cheats on you in a relationship, what would you do? I would end it, but he wouldn't cheat on me, so. How, how do you know? Because he's very respectful. In case if it happens, you will end up just a relationship and that's it? Yeah, I'll just end it. I don't, I don't appreciate cheating. <laughs> and I think many people would say the same. What else makes your relationship interesting? We have similar interests, but we're also very different mm -hmm. in ways. So I'm more of an like outdoor person, he, he's more of an indoor person. I make him go out sometimes like this. So we push each other, explore different things. You have to entertain each other all the time, you know, like this I think is the key. And also, you know, most of the people, they just got into a relationship and they think like, okay, I'm fine. You know, like they got, yeah, yeah, yeah. They just got into the stereotype. But no, you have to work for it like all the time. You know, mm -hmm. my parents they are like together 30 years you know like having this marriage hello to my parents <laughs> I really love them because you know like they still work for it you know like they're still romance you know like they still do things these small things for each other even and this that's the key you know like even my parents date they go out on date every night do you feel any difference between your parents relationship and yours yes for sure what is the difference I feel like my generation we're more open about things we're sharing more with each, with each other so it's like you share what our personal problems we don't keep it to ourselves we share it we try to help each other with it more what keeps your relationship longer communication and what else love I don't know that's kind of basic is love enough and important it is definitely important but there has to be 
respect, as I said, communication. So it's not just love that's enough, no. But love is important for sure. Are you interested in an open relationship? Definitely no. Why not? <laughs> for sure not. Because for me, I don't believe that it's a proper relationship. It's not something I would be interested in ever. And I don't think that's something my boyfriend would be interested in as well. What are you thinking about dating these days? It's a bit rough. And like some people these days, like Gen Zs are not really, I don't really find them respectful and loyal. They are not loyal? No. Do you think they are loyal or no? A lot of people know. A lot of people know? No. But are you a loyal? Yeah, I am, yes. How do you know you are a loyal person? Like a lot of people tell me that I'm quite loyal compared to other people mm -hmm. my age. It is better to ask you if the guy is cheating on you, what would be your reaction? Immediately block him. Mm -hmm. Literally never speak to him again. <laughs> For future yourself, what do you want to give advice? When Let he me. becomes a millionaire, because he will be a business owner, so he will be a millionaire. To, him. to your relationship and yourself. To never give up on anything that we want and to always stick together, no matter what, mm -hmm. good and bad. But you know that he will be a millionaire. Yes, 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 definitely. Mm -hmm. You have to be supportive. Yes, You have to make him millionaire. Yes, yes. If he is not a billionaire. <laughs> 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 what do you want to say? Never go to sleep while we're arguing. So if you're mad, you don't sleep, just talk it out always um, and don't forget if you're arguing, you're, you're arguing because you love each other so you can never forget that so no matter what you're going through always remember the first thing is you love each other that's why you're fighting it's probably over something stupid but don't forget you love each other that's it uh, you know, be honest as much as you can be truthful, have a sincere intentions just know that like, you know people are, you, you, you see yourself as like your own main character you know, you're the own main character in this, right? you know, everyone is their own main character in their own life everyone has their own goal so just like be aware of that and like have an open mind. So my friends, don't rush into relationships. First see how you are matching with the person, see how you are together. So don't try to be like immediately going into relationships. And don't jump from one, to, from one relationship to another, for sure. You have to take some time to heal from your previous relationships. I don't think I'm the person to... <laughs> Even if you don't follow it, but still you can give. I think communication is the most important thing. If you have communication, you can have everything, basically. I don't think you should particularly look for any relationship if you're not ready or like seek them if it comes it comes if it doesn't it doesn't like we're all young there's a lot of time so you know just go with the flow just like don't go looking for a relationship just let it happen like don't be seeking out partners I think just like if you meet someone like that's good and if you don't it's fine but the guy <laughs> approached to you on Instagram yeah. the intention was to find a girlfriend and it happened it Is did it fair I said no for two months like obviously say yes to every date you got asked on mm -hmm. <laughs> don't go seeking my partner is like it's such a waste of time <laughs> and your answer yeah I think kind of the same I think if you put yourself under pressure to you know find something sometimes it can backfire and go the other way I think it's like good to just like play it by ear and just see you know what happens and just play it by ear thank you very much for your advice you. enjoy your life good good luck on your career and also a relationship thank you so much. appreciate yeah. it take care that's it basically I'm definitely sure 100% sure you enjoyed a lot with this video Again, comment below which interview you liked most. Also, don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button. I see you in the next video. Bye.